All right, before we get to today's video, if you want a Grass Daddy sticker, uh, go sign up at grassdaddy.net. And uh, the first, well, I've already given out 100 and I just got 200 more stickers in. So the next 200 people to uh, put in their address and check out the lawn care planner tool will uh, get a sticker. Um, and because they're so popular, I don't know what I'm gonna do long term, but I, I can't buy 30,000 of them. So uh, I might just have to say, okay, this next 200 batch, that's it. So get in while you can. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching my videos. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about lowering your height for fall. Um, some people started start doing it now. Personally, I'm going to be cutting one section short because I wanna play with the swarm and reel mower on the side yard now. Um, but I will wait until the lawn starts to slow down and then I'll reduce it a little bit. Um, and the idea is just to make it a little bit easier to clean up leaves when you're doing the spring cleanup raking if it's super long and it's all winter long just laying there matted up and then in the springtime when it's time to start raking it's a little bit trickier i mean you can still do it but i prefer to cut it down a little bit um, there is debate some people will say well if it's taller and thicker um, you know there's less snow mold and other people i've seen say if it's shorter there's less snow mold um, but i think the snow mold issue um, is really dependent on the weather of the the winter that you get so um, anyways I personally just I like to take it down a couple notches I'll probably have it at like three inches um, for the last mow of the season maybe two and a half depending on how I feel uh, but for now the rest of the yard the front yard I'm gonna be doing at four the backyard I'm not sure what I'm gonna do the height there but um, that's it. So today what I'm doing is I'm actually lowering the side yard so I can start using the real mower there because the backyard is getting filled up with uh, tree sticks and leaves and stuff. And I misunderstood. Um, I thought uh, Michael from Swordman said that it was okay to uh, run over the leaves. Uh, what I realized he was saying is with the uh, scarifier tool or the detacher tool, whatever you want to call it, that would pick them all up. Um, and for me, time is limited right now, so I'm just going to mulch mow the backyard with the Honda and play with the Swarman on the, the side yard because I, I still really enjoy seeing the grass fly and the low cuts and all that stuff. It's really fun for me, so um, I want to still do it, but the backyard gets all the tree leaves and sticks and all that stuff so there we go um yeah let's get started Alright, so one of the reasons there's the don't break the two-thirds rule uh, is because if you see, there's a yellowish tint to it. And basically what that is, is the grass is uh, not getting as much sun down there, so when you cut off a whole bunch, it has an off color. I'll show you over here where I cut uh, much higher, and you'll see... I only did a strip, this strip here, but you can see the color difference, it's all green. So cutting it short like this isn't going to kill it, but it is going to look a little funky until the lower ends of the grass can start to get more sun and green up. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe comment all that fun stuff it's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos and uh, be sure to check out the ones below have a great day bye